What's up everyone, I know, I know, this is a super late review for these puzzles. Some of them were released last year, others were from the year before last year, and one of them you might not know it's existing, but hear me out, we're still gonna do this. This is Save from Eminem Cube Shop, and in this video we're gonna check some 2x2 puzzles. And yes, boring title. First on the checklist is this Meilung 2x2 from MoYu, specifically from MoFeng Zhaoshi. This is the non-magnetic version of it, and right on the bath, I would not recommend this 2x2 for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's non-magnetic. But Savior, you can purchase the magnetic one, right? I know, but if you're really interested in getting that, why not, right? But this version is just not so good, okay? It's not stable, and that's the reason number two. Number three, but this is a little bit contentious since you might not like frosty plastic. Frosty? Frosted? Whatever. But don't worry, most of the matte finish puzzles nowadays wear off over time when using it consistently. So yeah, I think it should not be a big deal. Nevertheless, it's super airy when turning, quick but again unstable, decent corner cutting I would say, and it also has the super vibrant MoYu shades which I really like to be honest. It's also crazy cheap. And you can get this in the M&M Cube Shop for less than $2. Like, can you imagine the price bro? And oh, if you're also curious, this one is a 50 mil 2x2 puzzle. I don't know if that's a big deal when you're just starting 2x2, but yeah, at least you know. By the way, if you're planning to magnetize this one using magnets, yeah, what else do you want to use? Just try and set it up. Maybe put some lube in it. However, personally, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to skip this one because there are still many options in this video. Next up, we have this Lucian Little Magic 2x2M, so yes, it's a magnetic one. But before talking about its stability, the turning feel of this cube is a little bit meatier, heftier compared to Meilong 2x2 a while ago, which has an airy feel in it. The magnets are pretty darn light, which is good because you don't want to have strong magnets if you already have a heavy turning puzzle. Now, in terms of stability, it's comfortably stable. It's not too stable to the point that you're not going to have a good experience in turning, and it's not too flimsy when turning since it's a magnetic one. I also like the sticker shades and surprisingly the finish is glossy instead of frosty plastic which again not a big deal. However, one thing that I don't like about this cube is its out-of-the-box feeling because it has this weird catches when you're spamming TPS so you need to loosen it a bit. But Yushin didn't include some screwdrivers. Not just kidding Yushin, don't do it please. Hashtag save environment. Overall, I think this is a good entry-level 2x2 puzzle from Yushin. This is relatively cheap but competitive. Again, you can buy this in M&M Cube Shop for about less than $7. Third on the list is this latest budget 2x2 puzzle from Chiyi, the Chiyi MS 2x2. Yeah, great names, right? So out of the box, wait, wait, can we just take a moment and appreciate Chiyi's efforts in making this cube box? It's hard plastics, which you might like, and that's it. Oh wait, there's Max. Turning this cube is completely satisfying, like, ugh. Oh my god, good job, Chiyi. I think this is what the Meilong 2x2 will feel like if it's magnetic and has primary internals for added speed. It's airy and hollow, but it doesn't feel cheap at all. It's super glidey and like, which is good when you're spamming TPS. It also has uh, this matte plastic or frosty plastic and has this Chiyi signature color shades in their puzzles, which I think the best shades among others. Sorry, <coughs> Chiyi. And by the way, if you haven't watched my review of Chi MS 3x3, the 3x3 puzzle in their MS line of cubes, I'll link it in the description below. Overall, I like this cube, it checks a lot of boxes, speed, stability, corner cutting, and price. And of course the box. And it has this potential of becoming my main 2x2. I think this is good for beginners because of the cheap price of less than $6 in M&M Cube Shop, I'll link in the description below. And this is also viable for intermediate and maybe even godlike 2x2 level. Wait, 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 I discovered something. Cheese to wall magnetic system for even magnetic strength distribution. Lastly, but certainly not the least, is this puzzle from YJ, the Yupo Vito M. Well, first comment, I just wonder how the version 1 feels like. Anyway, the feeling of this puzzle is very crunchy and clacky, perhaps the clackiest 2x2 puzzle among the bunch. It feels like I'm using a different version of YG MGC 2x2, which is currently my main, and the magnetic strength is on par with the Chi MS 2x2, but I wonder if there's also a dual magnetic system just like the Chi MS 2x2. 
Okay, confirm this also has dual magnets on each corner for added magnetic strength like the Qi MS 2x2. And by the way, the difference between the traditional magnetic system and this is that this is more distributed and even through of the cube compared to when you just put a stronger set of magnets. And speaking of magnets, it's pretty stable. It has a decent amount of corner cutting and kinda airy, I would say, and the finish is glossy. I think this cube is a hybrid of Mailing 2x2 if it was good and Qi MS 2x2 because of its dual magnetic system. Of course, this also cheap of around six to seven dollars in MM Cube Shop. If I'm to rank all these 4 puzzles today, I would put Meilung 2x2 as my least favorite and the YJ UPV 2M as the best option. Perhaps it's tied between the Qi MS 2x2 and YJ UPV 2M, however I'm more leaning to YJ since I've been using the YJ MGC 2x2 as my current main. Uh, nevertheless, the Qi MS 2x2 is a solid option. I would probably recommend Meilong 2x2 and Yushin to complete starters or beginners and Qi MS 2x2 and YJ UPV 2M for intermediate and maybe even godlike 2x2 level. That's been it wizards, if you're interested in purchasing these puzzles, you can buy them at the link below. Anyway, keep cubing!